And here's Darlene Hard receiving service in the first game. She's seeded number, fifth, number five this year. And of course she beat the former champion, Louise Bruff. She plays the typical American game, hard hitting and trying to get up to the net. Very tense on the centre court as she stands poised to receive the hardest service in the women's game. Miss Gibson not only plays the typical American game also, but plays it better than anyone we've seen this year. She's always on the attack, always racing round the court. She's a beautiful 13, athletic figure. 15 and she covers the court with astonishing speed, smashing like, almost like a man, and placing her volleys perfectly. Well, at the moment, this looks like being rather a one-sided single like the men's one was, because Miss Gibson is leading three love in the first 15, set, 30. and Miss Hart is 15-30 down on her service. Beautiful, lazy-looking passing shot just sailed onto the line. 15.40, two points for four, love, Miss Gibson. That first service. First service. And a rather weak backhand volley there makes it... What's up? Now what's happened? Game for Miss Gibson. <laughs> well, I don't think Miss Hard realised what the score was. Uh, she thought there was another point to play, but that is in fact four love to Miss Gibson in the first set. Well, it's another real scorcher here. I've just been told that the shade temperature is 89, which means it's well over 100 on the court. And now Miss Gibson, four love and 30 all. up to the net, but the volley didn't go where 30, it was meant to. 40. Actually, Miss Gibson today is doing more placing than real power stuff. Not getting very many of her first services in yet. And neat chip backhand gives Miss Hard her first game, 4-1. Game to Miss Hard. Miss Gibson leads by four games to one in the first set. Now Miss Gibson's leading 5-3. Miss Hard saved that long last game. 5-3 and 30 love. Oh. 30-15. 30, 15. 40-15, two set points. 40-15. And she's foot faulted on set point. And that's it. Game and first set to Miss Gibson, 6-3. Game and first set to Miss Gibson, six games to three. And now in the second set, Miss Gibson is leading 2-1 and 30 love on her own service. And it really isn't a very distinguished final, I'm afraid. Miss Hard is not 14, playing at all yeah. well. And even Miss Gibson isn't producing her best. Perhaps the heat's really got them down. It is terribly oppressive. 
Again, Miss Gibson has been foot faulted on her first service. It's about the third time that's happened. It's hard managed to get that, but only a second or third attempt. She looks very tired. Keeps on holding her head. Maybe she's got a headache. Beautiful stop volley, and that makes it 3-1 to Miss Gibson in the second set, having won the first. Now Miss Gibson is moving inexorably, it seems, towards a two-set victory. She's leading 4-1, the second set, 15 all. That's Miss Hard's best shot, that chop drag down backhand return of service, which catches Miss Gibson with the ball at her feet. 15.30. But she does all too few of them, I'm afraid. 30 all. Good service. And a beautifully angled Bali to make it 40 30. 40 30. Up to the net. Bali. Good rally, that one. What an athletic girl. Miss Gibson is turned like a cat there. Cute. Oh, she's volleyed out. Advantage Miss Hard. Ah, it's a lovely volley there. You. It's a kind of air of slow motion about this match. She chopped the backhand down there. Advantage, Miss Gibson. Point for five one to Miss Gibson. smash right to the line and that makes it 5-1 to Althea Gibson in the second set having won the first. Now Miss Gibson is leading 5-2 and 15 love on her service and I think it's just about all over. Just too easy. What a sporting girl this hard is. Even in the shadow of defeat, she applauds her opponent. Three match points, 5-2, 40 love, and about 40, 50 minutes play. And that's it. Game, set, and match to Miss Gibson. A very one-sided victory, 6-3, 6-2. And really rather a shame because Neither girl produced the lawn tennis that we know they're capable of.
now here comes Her Majesty the Queen to present the prize to the winner and to the runner-up. They've laid out green carpet on the green court. She goes towards the table covered by the Union Jack with the famous trophy perched on it. <laughs> Two girls trying to synchronize their curtsies. The real centre court acclamation for both the winner and the loser. Great moment for these two American girls. As Her Majesty returns to the royal box. And now, of course, there's the usual stampede of photographers to get the winner and the runner-up in their lenses. And at last, they're allowed to leave. Althea, the Gibson girl of 1957, and her defeated opponent, but still smiling, gay little Darlene Hard. Congratulations to both of them. And here is the lady who lost today. And may I say that I thought you lost with great gallantry, Darlene. Thank you very much. It wasn't a matter of gallantry. It was just a matter that I lost because I was beaten. <laughs> yes, but you took it awfully well. I thought that little bit of applause you gave in, in the last game when she made a particularly good shot was very, very sporty. Well, it isn't a matter of being sporting, really, because, I mean, Althea, and as you know, in the first point of the match, I got a bad call, and she double faulted. So I, I must say that Althea is very sporting also. Well, that's, it, at least the match was played in, in a very fine tradition of sportswomanship. I didn't think, quite honestly, that you were at your best, but of course you were up against a very fine player. I certainly was, yes. But didn't you feel that, um, you had played better in some of your earlier rounds. Well, yes, but then again, you see, I had, uh, my opponents were playing a bit worse. Yes. You see, which makes me shine a little bit more. And once you start winning, you more or less gain confidence and you keep going. Cool. Yes. My opponent today did not let me get started, let alone stay going. <laughs> I kept going under. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, did the heat affect you? It certainly affected everybody else. Yes, I think we both were affected by it. It was very, very hot out there. And um, uh, you've played her before, of course, and you did win a set from her at Beckenham, didn't yes, you? Yes, three weeks ago. Well. <laughs> but uh, I'm afraid that I depended on her play in Beckenham, and she played maybe 200% better than she played me at Beckenham. So as a result, I got 200% less games. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we do hope you'll be coming back again next year. I certainly hope so, also. Because... Um, you're very, very young. You're only 21, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. That's nasty. Women aren't supposed to tell their age. Ah, well, I think you're allowed to when you're 21, because apart from little Mo, you must be about the youngest finalist all for a quarter of a century or more. Well, that sounds like... Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we I shall... have to come back. Yes, well, we'll be very glad to see you, and we hope you go even one stage further and win it next time. I will keep my fingers crossed also. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, darling. And so we come to the end of yet another Wimbledon. We have to leave it now, but of course we'll be back again next year.